toss, more like tossers. Once again, locking logic and reason in the cupboard under the stairs, the liberals cry, freedom, with as much authenticity as Mel Gibson's supposedly Scottish accent in the film Braveheart. And we're off. Yes, it was only a matter of time before we reached this point, and so we've all been eagerly awaiting the oh-so-predictable reactions that come, in the form of screeching and wailing from the usual suspects. They didn't disappoint. As the numbers of those vaccinated against the coronavirus in Hungary started to rise to the sort of numbers we've all, well, almost all, been waiting for, the elephant in the room was mentioned. What happens when we can prove that we've been vaccinated? Having received your first vaccination, you are then sent a plastic card. On this card are stated pertinent details such as where and when you were vaccinated. To counter the only nationalism the left advocate, vaccine nationalism, the card doesn't state with which vaccine the cardholder was vaccinated. Vaccines from the East are being produced in far greater quantities than those from the West. This means that at the end of the day, it'll be the Eastern vaccines that the majority of people thank for their continued existence. All over the Western world, including countries which are now scrambling to lay their hands on Eastern vaccines. The left wapper initially mooted the idea of restricting people's rights to travel based on whether they received a Western or Eastern vaccine. Of course, such discrimination is obviously not discrimination, not if the concept was floated by the left wapper. So, the cards deliberately don't state which vaccine you've received. It's irrelevant. Either you've been vaccinated or you haven't. You get a card a few days after your first injection. And it's at this point that the useless tossers at TOSS started to empty their bowels in fear about the discrimination to be found in the way that the government set up the rules relating to these two affected groups. <gasps> those that have had themselves vaccinated and those that haven't. TOSS, the Hungarian Civil Liberties Union, are, in essence, an extension of the Hungarian opposition. So it's hardly surprising that they've now decided to wade into something that is, in reality, nothing that the vast majority of normal people could give a flying fig about. TOSS's problem with the situation we now find ourselves in relates to the attitude they mirror from the ranks of the opposition. The opposition would much rather that Hungarians didn't have themselves vaccinated. More sick people, more people in hospital, more deaths. These are the concepts that their think tanks have decided are the doorway to electoral success. So, just as the opposition want fewer people inoculated, so TOSS are now trying to drive a wedge between Hungarians, all in the name of improving the electability of the opposition. The question that TOSS have addressed is the idea that a person who registered for vaccination and had themselves vaccinated now will be entitled to more than someone who didn't register and doesn't want to be vaccinated. And so fucking what? Surely this is a time when the civil liberties lot really need to pull their heads from each other's anuses, isn't it? Either that, or this is the time for them to go all out and try and get their shoulders stuck in too. What sort of pasty-faced, puddle-jumping, fruit-feeling, bad-at-throwing nincompoop thinks that this is an issue? This is real life, not some sort of virtual role-playing game that we might stumble across at a TOSS weekend seminar. We've been locked up for a year, and now TOSS, ostensibly under the guise of protecting rights, are trying to turn idiots into angry idiots. One of the questions of the last national consultation related to this very situation and the response was that 65% of those who responded stated that those who are vaccinated should be freer than those who are not. Didn't bother with the questionnaire? Well, in that case, you forfeited your right to an opinion. Didn't vote? Don't get a say. You want to drive but don't want the hassle of getting a driving license? Tough shit. Look around the world. Open the internet and have a gander. Open a fucking newspaper. Turn on the bloody radio. Use your fucking head. The world is slowly starting to open up once more. If you're not prepared for whatever brain-dead reason your diseased mind has conjured up to submit yourself to medical science and have yourself inoculated, then so be it. Your life, 
potentially also your self-inflicted death sentence, but your choice nonetheless. But don't for a moment think that you can come out and play with the rest of us. You, for all we know, have got the lurgy. We haven't. So piss off back inside while we're in the pub, eating and drinking like normal people. We'll see you in the cinema, theatres, at the opera, in restaurants, in museums, at dance and music events, at the circus, at sports and fitness centres, in swimming pools, spas and bathing complexes, at the ice rinks, in zoos, wildlife parks, adventure parks, indoor play centres, in libraries and hotels! Oh no, of course, we won't, will we? Your loss. <laughs>